to transfer water from one tank to another, or from say a tank into your sprinkler or drip irrigation line, the T400 and T800 could be a perfect fit. It's the same pump, it just features a different number of solar panels, whether we're talking 400 watts or 800 watts respectively. It can produce around 100 feet of pumping head, which equates to 40 PSI of pressure. It can also do a maximum of 13 gallons per minute. Of course, as you do more pressure, that 13 gallons per minute is gonna drop a little bit. This is a direct drive pump, so it does not require batteries, but battery input is available with our controller. We'll wanna do a 48 volt battery bank, and you're gonna get about the same performance of the 800, but slightly less. You're not gonna get quite as much pumping head. It's gonna be limited to around 90 feet of pumping head or about 30 to 35 PSI of pressure. With this pump, you can direct drive your drip lines or other irrigation lines, and you don't have to worry about overpressurizing them. If you happen to deadhead the pump for a short amount of time, it's not gonna damage anything. It's not gonna produce a really high pressure, which could burst your lines or split your joints, requiring costly repair. This pump is self-priming, but you do wanna make sure you fill it with water and try to get a majority of the air bubbles out. If a little bit of air is left in there when you start it up, it's gonna be able to evacuate that air and then fill it with nice clean water in order to achieve a good prime. If you have a shallow well or your tank is slightly below where you need to place the pump, no problem. This pump can do around 15 feet of suction, but of course, with the higher suction, you're gonna be limited on your gallon per minute and your maximum pumping. We have tables available on the website in order to help you size for your application. You might ask, why would I use this pump versus our tankless pressure pump? One of the main benefits of this pump is its direct drive. So if all you need to do is water or irrigate during the day, then you can direct drive this pump and avoid batteries altogether. With that, you can produce around six hours of pumping a day and a little bit in the morning, a little bit in the evening, but you should plan on six full pumping hours for your watering needs. Like all of our kits, it comes with the pump and motor, it comes with our accessories. In this case, we have our low water sensor, so you can prevent the pump from running dry and sucking air, losing your prime. It has the tank full. So if you're using this as a transfer pump, you're able to put the tank full sensor into your other tank, and when it's full, it's gonna automatically shut off the pump. We have our solar wire, our very detailed 36 page color user manual in order to help you set it up and plan for your complete installation, and our controller. The controller is the brains of the system. It's gonna take the solar in, and it's gonna drive the pump, which has a brushless DC motor. So in this case, there's no brushes to wear out. It's gonna run more efficiently, and it's gonna run cooler, preventing overheating. We're also able to put our batteries into the controller in order to operate the pump. The batteries aren't gonna give you more water per day, but it's gonna allow you to shift your pumping time if you need to irrigate in the evening. If you do need more pumping time, then you can add more panels and more batteries in order to extend out the gallons you're going to be able to pump per day for larger irrigation or water transfer needs. With this system, we've coupled our controller with a brushless DC motor in order to provide maximum system life. It has a stainless steel pump in and a drip-proof motor. That means you can keep it outside, but we do recommend covering. Depending on which system you pick, if you pick the T400, you're going to get 400 watts of solar panels, or if you pick the T800 because you have higher pumping needs or need a little bit more volume, you're going to get eight solar panels, which are 100 watts each. This is a great system and it's going to provide you years of reliable water pumping, direct drive from solar, or with optional batteries. No worrying about pressure switches, simply hook up your irrigation lines. If 40 PSI is a little high, you can put a pressure reducer on there to direct drive, say, your 20 PSI drip line systems. If you need one of these, check it out at rpssolarpumps.com or if you're not quite sure about your application or if this is the right system for you, feel free to give us a call at 888-637-4493. We can help you size your system, we can help review your application and make sure this is going to be the perfect fit for your water pumping needs.